Ah! Ah! Hang on. <laughs> I'm still getting things ready. Going and ding-a-linging me. Ah, right. Iceberg! Welcome. Love that the ad coming in was for KSP2. Hey, there we go. They're getting their, uh, the right audience then. Tacton, thank you very much for the Prime Gaming sub and welcome back. Hello, 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 old friend. I hope you're doing well. How goes? Pretty good, thank you. Uh, we're gonna just get right back fucking into it. Oh, hello, why are we here? Alright. Maybe I can undo this, uh, what the fuck is going on there? She knows. I don't know why I'm here, but here I am. There you go. See, the parachute deployed that time. <laughs> Almost got it right. How you doing today, Briar? Enjoying your new recliner? Beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to go for a lunar flyby. So let's make something new for it. I want to try the uh, the old Mark II lander can. Can it still... Uh, it doesn't have a modified model anymore. Woke up to a mutual friend of ours PayPaling you 20 bucks. Oh, nice! Hey! That sounds pretty good to me. Oh, that's too big. Put that on top. Actually, no, we want that underneath. Where is monopropeller? There we go. Is that the right size? Oh, that's too big. There we go. Haven, welcome! Rover bodies are a separate category. They are. Oh yeah, no, I know that. I just mean in, in Kerbal Space Program 1, the Mark II lander can had a... You could switch it between a rover-style chassis and the all-around chassis. That's what I meant. Uh, oh, is there a fuel tank that's appropriate? Oh, that's too big. What size? Wait, are these all... Ah, oh, no, stop, stop. 
Real question is, will we land something safely today? Of course. What resolution am I playing in? This isn't 1080p. The, the, the UI is deliberately, like, pixel art style, almost. It's, it's a deliberate uh, aesthetic choice they've made. Right now they're in two separate pieces in two separate categories. Uh Well that's not the same thing. I don't know if I'm looking in the wrong place to what you're talking about. Don't know if you like it. I'm 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 getting used to it. I well, I'm trying to get used to it. As as sort of different as it is, there are aspects of it I do like. Although they're they're less about the aesthetic and more about actual features that are being added. Like this orientation representation. Which is quite nice. The red, violets, blue, white wine costs less than dinner for two. This is probably true, yes. Welcome in, Wolfie. How you doing? Alright, RCS, very important. I like some brain teasers. I mean, I can't promise I'm going to be able to actually do them, but I'm certainly not going to stop you. I remember everything cutting in half and nothing. What am I? A landscape picture? So we can look for two of those. Oh! to atmosphere.
glad when they uh, re-add auto struts. I certainly don't miss this. Yes. Do they still have fuel cross feeding? Yes, that's still a feature. Yes. <clears throat> Although I think it's a little wonky at the moment. I think it still needs some work. I hope these are facing the right way because I'm not checking. More generator options now. Okay, so fuel cell. That's the thermoelectric, the fuel cell array. What the hell is this? It's a reactor. This reactor output steady flow of electricity for many years. It's a nuclear fission engine or reactor, like a generator, yeah. Output decays over lifetime. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. So that's long duration isotope thermo. So that's just a bigger version of this. This is something else. This is an actual reactor that requires uranium to function. That's interesting. Yeah, that's me just playing most games for the first time. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is that? Alright. So that's the main chutes. We want those to open afterwards. We want those to stage simultaneously. Goodbye. You know, I love watching at the same time and not got no clue what I'm watching. That's fine. 
That's just life. Out there, you down there, because you're all meant to burn at the same time. All right. Got to thrust away over one. How's it feeling about a round trip to the moon? Really? It says I don't have enough fuel? Bullshit. I think I've got enough fuel. Although it thinks I'm doing a landing. I'm not doing a landing. It's just a flyby this time. wrong to say I want to see it explode like 4th of July. I'm sorry, that's <laughs> that's gonna actually be pretty unlikely with my streams, just because I have played too much of the first Kerbal. Um, a long time ago when I used to do Kerbal Space Program Let's Play videos on YouTube, there were, there were moments where something like that would happen, but uh, not anymore, really. It's very unlikely that that's gonna happen, and as I say that, it's now guaranteed. Still a bit high for my liking. There we go. So they need to stage at the same time as the main engines. Also, we need a point's head round just bounces back. Huh? What does that mean? Fly by. Have I ever watched The Dictator? Uh, is that the Sasha Baron Cohen? What? Yeah, I know. I've done all this. No, I've not seen that one. I see it's on throttle up. Okay. Oh, we'll do a countdown because why not? And she's off. Okay. 
I get to 150. Whoa, 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 why are we off the- whoa, 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 why are we off target? What the hell? Wobbling? Well, it's just like, it just lost control for whatever reason. Right, whoa, whoa. Okay, the RCS is not nearly as strong as it used to be. It feels like RCS has been nerfed pretty heavily. I think we saved it. I hope we did anyway. It's wobbling at the back because I knew we could. <laughs> well, that's the gimbling. That's the, the rocket nozzle gimbling to provide directional thrust. to circularize this orbit. Hang on, let's get that to 200. There we go. Whoops. We want to get to... Yeah, we'll get to the apoapsis. <laughs> That's right. I can just use RCS to uh, adjust this more accurately. Oh. 
physics. Speed up doesn't work properly yet. It's monopropellant, we're fine. Alright, that's a circularized orbit. It's within a few hundred meters. I'll take it. Oh, is that the? Is it showing the sphere of influence now? That's cool. We've got Minmus. It says new, new stuff that's been added to the original system. I think. Gilly Moho. Oh wait, Gil isn't Gilly the moon of Eve? Or is Gilly something else now? Duna. Pole. Pole. That's new. Oh wait, no, that's the... Oh, it's picking up the moons, not, not the planet. There's Drez. Elu. Eventually, there's going to be some other stars we can go to, but that's probably not going to be in until, like, I would say next year. I don't think that'll be until next year. I'm expecting approximately six months plus between each major update. That's what I think, anyway. Oh, why did I stage... Why did I hit the space bar? What is wrong with me? Do I have a quick save that I can load? No. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'm going to just do this with the upper stage then. Set as targets. I don't think that angle's going to be too bad. The moon's big enough that it's got a pretty heavy gravitational influence. Uh, right, we're coming up on the periapsis. with engines running, not monopropellant then. Oh, it physics warps up to 10 now. That's interesting. <clears throat> Just a pick a clip of a pink gawk. Why don't you go and post it in the Discord? It's probably a better place for it. Oh, throttle locked. Ah! Okay, that's new. Throttle locking whilst in physics time warp. Yeah, I feel like the physics warp has been uh, nerfed. Or it's just not finished yet. <clears throat> I 
think this is an encounter. This is a little confusing. They're all the same colour, which they didn't used to be. Oh, that's the debris. Ah. Oh. Bye bye. Lady Beaver, welcome. Why is it always? Uh, why is it I always see interesting space-based games on these channels? Because I like space, and. Kerbal has a very special place in my heart as a whole. Seriously? It doesn't stop time acceleration for encounters? Uh That's annoying. Uh, am I going to get another encounter on the rotation? I don't think I am. Periapsis is still well over... Yeah, so... I was hooked when I saw me playing Shipbreaker with classic music. Thank you for reminding me about Shipbreaker. I want to do a proper playthrough of Shipbreaker. Because um, it's it's f proper full campaign um, has been out for a little bit now. And I want to actually play through the whole thing properly. Going round until I get an actual encounter. There we go. Right. Entering. Ah, so it shows the sphere of influence. Okay. Retrograde burn. Let's slow this mother hover down for a flyby. It really drives home the you're less than a Kolganar machine aspect of late stage neo capitalism. Yeah, that's fair. I can definitely agree with that. a nice close flyby let's say 10,000 meters Where the fuck 
is the moon. Oh, there it is. Right, in we come. Nah, there's no atmosphere on the moon. So it won't slow me down. Have I robotnik pissed on the moon yet? What the fuck does that mean, Tetsu? <laughs> Welcome, but also what? I don't know the meme. No, no, I don't know the meme. Clearly not. Oh wow, this is not as close as I thought I'd be. Alright, well, I can use this moment to accelerate and push the apoapsis out of the sphere of influence. Alright, I'll look at it after the stream. Oh wow, we get got as low as... Oh, oh, the camera! Oh my god! The camera doesn't know what it's doing! Apoapsis at 2.4 kilometers. Oh boy, we're gonna be close. Oh wait, no, that's kilometers, not meters. Oh shit, okay, no, that's not nearly. Okay, I'm getting those those mixed up. So we leave the moon's sphere of influence. Bing. Go to a retrograde burn. Let's slow this mother hover down until we bring that periapsis back in. I wonder if KSP2 is going to have uh, physics for multiple bodies of gravity. So you can actually have like Lagrange points where something just gets anchored in place between two gravitational points. That'd be cool. That's something that KSP1 just straight up could not do because of how the engine worked. It was too limited. It could only do single point gravity. I realized when we were watching this while it's on YouTube, I don't think it's appropriate for your Discord. I forgot how bad this was. So I'll just leave it as a joke you don't get. Oh, okay. That's what Lagrange points are. It's, it's, hang on, how's it spelt? Wait, it's... Yeah, it's... It's spelt like that. It's not two words, it's one word. Lagrange. Yeah, it's equilibrium points between two bodies of of gravitational influence. Let's bring this down to 40,000 meters. That should be low enough to properly capture us. Especially as there's no re-entry uh, heat yet. There we go. Alright. Where's the planet? There we go. Actually, we... S oh, set to prograde. Wait. Yeah, I want to come in backwards. Wait, 
dropping it at a nice 3,000 meters a second or so. We can use the remaining fuel to try and slow us down. Word is there's at least one point in Deb Deb where Lagrange points are implemented and for some reason important. Ah. Oh yeah, because isn't the, the first new system, Deb Deb, going to have a binary star or something like that? Or like a binary planet system. So yeah, they are going to have multi-body physics. The gravitational physics. Cool. But it was just a coordinate in space, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, they are they are coordinates in space, but they're very specifically... Like, they're like anchor points where two gravitational fields cancel each other out. So something could sit there and not be pulled one way or the other. But they're very specific, because obviously if you go too far in any which way, um, you'll fall outside of that protective area and get dragged into something. But yes, that's where they put the colonies in Gundam, so they can float there without being pulled around or needing to orbit. <laughs> I think it was Halo that first taught me about Lagrange points because that's the, the 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 Halo ring the first one is located in a Lagrange point between um a gas giant and its moon So I jettisoned the fairing, but I think the rest of the rocket is still attached. Oh, no, no, it's not. Okay. No, I, th I think it's coming away, but I'm not sure. It's marked as something separate. The equilibrium points where the pulls from the involved bodies happen to balance some are stable like a valley, some are unstable like a hill. The valleys are great for orbits that don't naturally decay. Yeah, so that's where you'd put like a space station or a, or a colony in the terms of Gundam. When are my drogue shoots marked to open? 2.5, okay. Uh, that's still attached. So I did fuck up slightly by not putting a separator there. Alright, it's good to bear in mind for the future. first did in Gundam. I don't know if I Gundam or Wing. Well, I, I don't know if... I can't 
remember when in Gundam they're specifically mentioned. Also, I haven't watched Gundam Wing, so I wouldn't know if it was there. Um... I'm pretty confident they are, they are mentioned in uh, the original Gundam, at least. I feel like that's something that would be brought up. Ooh. Like a glove. Help you know, <laughs> I just don't have any interest in Gundam outside the Universal Century. I like the continuity. Um, that being said, I did like Iron-Blooded Orphans, and I'm enjoying Witch from Mercury. Um, but they're standalone. Like, they're, they're very much their own things. They're not linked into anything else. And also, they're a lot shorter, I think, than, uh, <laughs> the other ones. Alright, recover vessel. Yes. Oh, that bit got left behind. Let's go to the tracking station and clear up the debris. Destroy. So hold on, where do I find... ASP orbits don't generally decay without atmosphere. Yeah, if there's no atmosphere, the orbit won't decay. Real end body orbits, because everything falls on you at all times, most orbits tend to be less than perfectly stable. Yeah, because don't like most space stations in real life have like maneuvering thrusters to sort of occasionally shunt them a bit away so that the orbit can be retained. Okay, I think I've cleared up my mess, so to say. Whoops. I need to see Victory in F91. I heard F91 was interesting, because they basically had to condense a 50-episode TV series into an hour-and-a-half movie. They don't have the, uh... Oh, because they don't have the Making History pack, so they don't have any of the historical rocket parts. Like the escape, uh, rocket system. Oh, I can sort of invent my own version, I guess. There you 
Is that actually attaching? I hope that is. This is not going to work if it doesn't. Oh, there it is. Launch escape system. Oh, it's there. It used to be somewhere else. Although, interestingly, it doesn't have the additional nozzle. Because it's meant to have the four nozzles pointing down, and then it's meant to have one that points to the side so that it pulls the, the capsule away, not just up. Oh, I'm glad it's in there, if, even if it's slightly different. Alright. Heat shield. Now we needed coupler. They need to fire together. And in theory... Should be the last stage as well. Where's command and control gone? Oh, it's in utility now. Isn't it? Mono propellant, battery. Hello, cargo base. Can, can we go? We've got crew cabins, trusses, fairings. I guess we don't have the service modules yet, then. I think I'll that. Too big. How big are these new landing legs? Whoa, they're big! Holy cow! Woohoo! Those are chunky mother hubbards! Yo, they're dope as hell, though! Oh, fuck yeah. That owns. They are huge, though. <laughs> God damn. Something out of Disney's The Black Hole? I think I'm familiar with that. Right, I want them moved up a bit, just because I want... RCS thrusters.
It's a movie from the 70s about the USS Cygnus, a ship on the edge of a black hole. The ending is very controversial. Sounds like uh, Event Horizon, but I think Event Horizon came out much later. Watch it if you get the chance. It's a very, it's a good movie, but very weird. Very good. Well, I'm not a huge movie person. Like the most recent movie I watched was uh, uh, on Wednesday actually, because remember when I said I had previous plans, I'd actually arranged with a friend to uh, watch a movie with them that day, and I forgot. Uh, and we watched Blood Quantum, which is a zombie apocalypse movie through the lens of an indigenous American uh, reserve in the 1980s. And uh, that movie is a lot. <laughs> there is some real fucked up shit in that movie. <laughs> kind of probably a bit much for me, frankly, but you know. <laughs> do zombie movies either. I, it's not that I don't do zombie movies, it's just like this one in particular had some uh, choice scenes. <laughs> but I don't usually mind zombie movies. Like, I've seen, you know, 28 Days Later and shit like that. We do somehow manage to run out of mono propeller. Watch 28 Days Later because your brother had it. Ah, okay. What did you think? it. The end was too hopeful for the turn of the film, but it was really good. I think there's an alternate ending on the, the DVD version of the movie at any rate. I do, I distinctly remember it having, like, two endings. One that was the theatrical ending, and then one that was the alternate DVD bonus feature ending.
Whoops. There is noticeable lag when placing parts now, and this rocket is not particularly complex yet. <laughs> there is definitely some performance issues that need to be ironed out. Oh god, these delays selecting and placing parts starting to add up. God damn. 
This is probably the most significant issue I'm now noticing, is just the slowdown on this particular part of the game. It is struggling with something relatively basic. <clears throat> but again, this is the very first iteration. Give them a week or so. And I'm sure problems like this will start getting ironed out. I think I remember reading... Wait, where is it? Uh, the launch day notes. Here we go. Uh, fuel flow Delta V calculations currently undergoing optimization. Because I'd expect it to kind of be the highest priority. To get the game running smoothly. Unless something like super drastic happens that causes it to be delayed. Um, I suppose sort of around about this... Whoa. Sort of around about the same time I imagine they'll be working on UI stuff. <sighs> Did stream crash on your end too? Yeah, it did. Although OBS is fine, it's Twitch. OBS says it's still going. Yeah, I can see you in chat, Raya. Is it doing that? Oh, there we go. Now it's working properly.
need to make sure... Again, this is the problem with no auto-strutting. Ah, there we go, that's what I want. On. Game. Oh my god. Alright. Groups. Uh, the abort stage. Should whoa, what? Stage enable engine. Wow. Wow. Decouple. I'm not gonna bother with the clamps. I don't think I need it. Does this think I can get to the moon? It doesn't think I can get to the moon. I'm... I think this is wrong. Oh wait, hang on, didn't they say there was a problem with it? Wait, was this also in the notes? Uh... Ah, here we go. Uh... 
The trip planner occasionally displays inaccurate Delta V numbers for some destinations. All Delta V numbers in the VAB use vacuum specific impulse numbers, which affects their accuracy. This will be addressed in a future update. Delta V numbers shown in the staging track during flight dynamically affect the current flight state. Okay. So basically, this is not working properly, which is great. <laughs> Alright, let's go. See, this is saying I've got even less Delta V now. Alright. I didn't actually check my thrust to weight ratio. I just kind of assumed it would work. She's struggling. Just realized I never actually put any uh, separatrons on the engines. So there's every chance that when I try and separate an engine cluster, it's going to go careening into the main hull and cause problems. Oh, now my Delta V's going up. I'm burning fuel and becoming more efficient. facilities and buildings added over time because that's what happened in the base game is like the the launch facility changed uh from the very earliest version all the way up to the full release Stop turning, stop turning, stop turning. What the hell, what the hell, what the hell, what the hell, Stop! Oh shit, okay. Abort, abort! Your abort command is not working! Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, the. F oh my god, the frame rate. I 
I don't think it turned into an unguided ballistic missile because I have no idea where it's gone. I'm not sure if that's it or not. I don't think it is. That's way too far away. It just evaporated. Remember that four frames per second is better than four frames per f four seconds per frame. All right, true. Oh, it's above you, huh? Where? That's... Oh, even the escape boosters vanished. to VAB. My, my stream did restart. Interesting. Hmm, that's annoying. Alright, clearly we need some more control surfaces. Let's try this. Oh, hang on. Let's actually get some extra kerbals in, because... Oh, I guess we don't have kerbals with, like, specific skills yet.
Oh, there's Valentina. Let's get Valentina in. There we go. Famous Kerbin. Yeah, let's go. That's trippy. One second in game is four seconds in real life because it's running that slowly. Jesus Christ. Really doesn't like even mildly complex builds. I got a horrible feeling we aren't actually going to be able to play that much of this uh, until at least these performance issues are ironed out properly, because there's no way I'm going to be able to build anything that can go f further than the moon with this much of a restricted part limit. stage coming up. Whoa, what 
what the hell? Oh shit, they hadn't. Fuck. Oh, what the hell? They all just disappeared. Shit. Right, for starters, revert to the AB. I mistimed when the engines were going to run dry. They still had fuel in. Also, there's an option I need to turn off. The one that, like, gives every part a name. Uh, oh, skip launching, I guess. Sure, let's see what my FPS is. I want, I want vessel labels, but it shouldn't be giving labels to every part that's detached. Really. I thought that was an option that I could turn off. take me forever to even just try and put separate trons on this thing so I'm not going to bother. Unless it's like drastically bad. Frames a second, six frames a second, five, four. Oh God. Well, at least the frame rate's not affecting my uh, my model anymore. Just the fucking game. Game frames are not being kind. Oh, we're down to two frames a second now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna amend my previous statement from yesterday and just say if you want to get this game maybe just wait a couple of weeks <laughs> until at least the performance issues are ironed out is it the multi-engine platforms it doesn't like it's just the fact that there's that it's the rocket is too complex for the for the game right now 
which is um, kind of frightening because this is not a complex rocket. This is pretty simple as rockets go. back to uh, some pretty fucking awful performance. What is this frame rate? Uh, eight frames a second, apparently. Yeah, it turns out when you try and make something mildly complex, it just freaks the hell out. And now this thing won't even fly straight. Why are you like this? Doesn't even look that complex. It's not. <laughs> That's the thing. 
This is a very simple... Very simple moon landing rocket. Come on. CPU at 100%. Uh, they don't know. Hang on. Uh, one second. I can't lock. CPU. Uh, the CPU is at 50%. GPU is at 44%. This isn't even hardware limitation. This is engine limitation. I mean, I'll be honest and say, I, 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 I still don't regret buying it early, because at least I'm like, I'm in there now. Um, and I'm happy to wait for updates and stuff. I do wonder what the hell they've been doing for five years, though. I wonder if they had to, like, restart development at any point. Like, did something go wrong, or did they make a massive change somewhere down the line? Because, like, there are good ideas here. It's just the performance is the, the biggest issue right now, I can see. I do like some of the, the changes they've made. Like, this, this system here to show you, like, what the hell prograde, retrograde, normal, anti-normal, uh, radial in and out are. Like, to show you, like, a representation of what direction that's gonna be. That's useful. Really, could have kept updating KSP1. Well, I think KSP1 had kind of hit the limit of how far it could go. It had its own problems with regards to engine limitation. And to be fair, the modding community had kind of added everything that could have possibly been added by the base game. Probably. I'm not joking when I say Kerbal Space Program has possibly among the largest modding communities of any game I can think of. Maybe not quite on the same level as like Skyrim, but up there, pretty high. If I click on Prograde, does Autopilot hold it there for you, or is it just a visual? No, that's that that will tell the 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 support control to aim for the Prograde constantly. But it's just, I don't know, I don't trust it right now. <laughs> yeah, but Kerbal Space Program 1 had that. It's just it wasn't as well represented as this. This is an improvement in terms of representation for what these symbols mean. ideal world when 
this engine burn is done, things should get easier. I mean, you can see here, I'm pulling down and left as hard as I can to try and get in line with the prograde. Why is that stuck? Fuck off. Did that not... Why is that stuck? Why did the Separatron not... Decouple? to get out there and kick it? Alright, new plan. Jesus Christ, what is that fucking angle of attack? Let's just give this a go and see what happens. Oh, am I going to scoot just under... Hang on, hang on. Whoa, 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 wait. I think I can fix this. I think it's the angle that I'm coming in at that's actually screwing me. It's too extreme. 20 degrees, yeah. making it worse. Wait, other way, other way.
You know, maybe I didn't fix it as much as I thought I did. Hold on, let's just keep doing things until something happens. That's got to be within... Yeah, distance from target. That's got to be inside the sphere of influence. Come on. Oh, don't worry. That's fine. It's not really an orbit right now, it's a bloody collision course. Actually, I might... I might try and write this in as a suicide burn. Let's see. Do a slow down burn at around 50,000 meters. This is why I needed that bloody other stage to actually work. <laughs> I should have had a full tank of fuel in all of these to do this specific maneuver. And instead I had like a third.
fuel for the final burn. I'm going to make this landing even if I can't get them home. that. Oh, okay, that was close. That could have gone a lot worse. Oh, slope could be interesting. Steady, steady. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Holy shit, that was dire.
Oh, it's definitely a moon. Do they still have the tumble physics? No. See if we can get you back home. Ah, why? Wait, come back. Why are you... Go, wait. Draw from here, yes. Why? Why can I not... is going on with the camera. I have to do an instruments only return. It's purely through this. Why is it tumbling? What is going on? This is impossible. How the hell am I meant to... See if I can, like, re go back to it. No, it's still putting me here. Okay. Well, <sighs> fuck.
None of my control inputs seem to be doing anything. That's not moving. Even though the engines are at full, I'm still decelerating. Okay, well that broke. <laughs> oh. Well, it wasn't the plan, but I think I'm going to call it there. <laughs> um, and we will put Kerbal Space Program 2 aside for a little bit until things work. Uh... <sighs> Unfortunately, it seems like they pulled this out of the oven perhaps just a little too early even for early access. And uh, I'll be interested to see what a lot more of the community feedback is. Uh... Alright, let's go and raid Chaos, because she's live. Wait, how is Chaos live? Oh, it's Saturday! Doi? Of course. Okay. Okie dokie. I'll say thank you very much to everyone that came today. I'm sorry things didn't quite go to plan. Uh, I'll have to look forward to Kerbal later down the line when things have been ironed out. Uh, later today we will be playing some more. I think Dark Souls is on the list. loads. Yeah, we'll be playing more Dark Souls 3 in first person at 7pm, so look forward to that. Otherwise, please enjoy the rest of your day, or sleep well if you're already at the end, and I'll see you in a few hours. But until then, please take care, and goodbye. <laughs>